I'm Bobby DeMuro, and this is the inaugural episode of The Media Bites. Welcome to The Media Bites, introducing new web TV episodes every Wednesday, premiering August 22nd, and brand new podcasts every Friday, premiering August 24th. Covering how the media covers what they cover, from news and journalism to sports, entertainment, reality TV, and even music. We are very excited to get started. Remember that brand new podcasts go up every Friday on RadioExiles.com. You can also check out brand new web TV episodes every single Wednesday, and everything is going to be on TheMediaBytes.com. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Just search The Media Bites on both those sites. Now, let's get to big things in the news this week. I remember when we broke up the first time. Well, Taylor Swift released a new song, and surprise, surprise, it's about a breakup. Taylor Swift? Breakup? Would she ever release a song about that? Doesn't she usually sing about love? She's not sugarcoating it this time, though. The song is called We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together. I'd say she means business. Like, for real. Like, that's not subtle at all. But hey, I feel for her. You know, life's been really, really hard to her ever since she turned 16. When's it going to work out for Taylor? No money, no future, no job, no recognition. She's had a tough life. She deserves to write a breakup song. We are never, ever, ever getting back together. Or 20. In other, maybe more important news, Vanity Fair has a great piece out online right now about the Olympics. And they're not looking at the coverage of the Olympics, but they're looking at London specifically as a host city. Good stuff on how London grades out and how they did hosting the Olympic Games. And overall, London grades out pretty well according to Vanity Fair. That link is on TheMediaBytes.com if you want to read the whole article. You know, speaking about the Olympics, the folks at TVByTheNumbers.com have a great piece up right now. NBC wasn't the only organization that saw huge ratings off the Olympics. In fact, FoxSports.com saw the highest internet ratings ever from the Olympic Games, both a two-week time period and on a single day. That tells me that NBC was not the only one who picked up a boom from the Olympics this year. And say what you will about the coverage and time delays and tape delays and live streaming, but the ratings do matter. And the ratings bring in dollars, and NBC and FoxSports.com both have ratings, and they can both take that to the bank, literally. And finally, reports coming in from Time Magazine this week that Steve Jobs' house was burglarized. Uh Uh-oh. Don't do that to our guy. Now, the suspect has been caught and arrested, and cops in Northern California say that while he did steal a lot of equipment, they don't think that he realized whose house he was breaking into when he did it. That's it this week. Very, very brief web teaser here on The Media Bites. And I want to remind you guys again, TheMediaBites.com. Next week, Wednesday, August 22nd, Friday, August 24th, we're going to be debuting web TV and podcasts with a set. We've got a TV set coming. We've got better graphics coming. So it's not just sitting in a random room. We're going to have good stuff for you. That debuts next Wednesday and next Friday. And you can only see that on TheMediaBytes.com. And in the meantime, if you get bored, follow me on Twitter. I am at Bobby DeMuro, graphic on the bottom of this page. And hit me up if you've got any questions. We'd love to put stuff from you on The Media Bytes.